Astros Chanu in talks for new drama by Milo is my nature director. The incredibly talented Chanu, a member of the popular group Astro, is currently in discussions for a potential leading role in an upcoming drama titled Doc Gangjong, Romanized title. The drama, based on a popular webtoon, has already generated a lot of buzz and anticipation among fans. On August 26, a report by News One revealed that Chanyu had received an offer to star in Doc Gangjong, which will be helmed by none other than the highly acclaimed director Lee Byung Hun. Known for his exceptional directorial skills, he has previously delivered remarkable dramas such as Milo is My Nature, also known as Be Melodramatic, Extreme Job, and 20. With a track record of creating engaging and relatable stories, expectations are high for this collaboration. The title Doc Gunjong itself piques curiosity, as it refers to a mouth-watering Korean dish known for its tantalizing combination of sweet and sour flavors. The drama, being based on a popular webtoon, promises to bring the vibrant and captivating storytelling of the original source material to life on the small screen. Responding to the report, Chanyu's agency Fantejo released a statement acknowledging the offer, stating, Director Lee Byung-hun's Doc Gunjong is one of the projects that Chanyu has been offered. However, a final decision has not been made yet regarding his participation. As fans eagerly wait to hear Chanyu's decision, there's an air of excitement surrounding the potential pairing of his undeniable talent with Lee Byung-hun's exceptional vision and storytelling prowess. The drama, expected to consist of 12 episodes, is currently in the process of casting, with the production team carefully selecting a talented ensemble to bring the webtoon's characters to life. As discussions and negotiations continue, fans eagerly anticipate updates and eagerly speculate about the potential chemistry and dynamic performances that Chanyu and the rest of the cast will bring to the screen. With the combination of a popular webtoon adaptation, a renowned director, and the potential involvement of Chanyu, Doc Gunjong is shaping up to be one of the most highly anticipated dramas in the near future. As fans hold their breaths and wait for further announcements, there's no doubt that the drama will capture the hearts of viewers and deliver a compelling and memorable viewing experience. As we eagerly await confirmation for his role in Doc Gunjong, Chanyu is also in talks to venture into Hollywood with the exciting film K-pop Lost in America. It's no secret that K-pop has become a global phenomenon, captivating audiences around the world, with its infectious beats, slick choreography, and stunning visuals. As a result, many K-pop stars have become household names outside of their home country, and some have even gone on to make waves in the entertainment industry in the West. And now, it seems like another K-pop idol is set to take Hollywood by storm, Chan Woo. Directed by Yoon jae Kyun and co-produced by CJ Group's vice chairman Lee mik -young and Hollywood producer Linda Ops, K-pop Lost in America follows a K-pop boy group that finds themselves stranded in Texas, just days before their American debut at New York's Madison Square Garden. With no phones, no money, and no transportation, the group must overcome a series of crazy obstacles in order to make it to New York City in time for their U.S. debut. While the movie was originally scheduled to be filmed in the fall of 2022, there are some variables that caused delays, including Chan Woo's busy schedule as a popular K-pop idol. However, the production team is reportedly working hard to ensure that everything goes smoothly, and fans of Chan Woo and K-pop in general are eagerly anticipating the movie's release. But Chan Woo isn't the only star attached to the project. According to Deadline, Hollywood actors Rebel Wilson and Charles Melton are also set to appear in K-pop, Lost in America. Rebel Wilson is well known in Korea for her roles in Isn't It Romantic, The Hustle, and Jojo Rabbit, while Charles Melton is half Korean and lived in Korea for several years during his childhood. With a star-studded cast and an exciting premise, K-pop Lost in America is shaping up to be one of the most anticipated movies of the year. And for fans of Chanwoo and K-pop, it's sure to be a must-see. We can't wait to see what kind of magic this talented group of actors and filmmakers will bring to the screen. And we're counting down the days until we can watch it for ourselves. 
It's no wonder that countless people are eager to collaborate with Chanyu considering his incredible talent and delightful personality. In fact, broadcasting station PD recently shared a delightful sneak peek into the real Chanyu and his charming demeanor on set. In September, according to an article posted by PD Pyeon Anji in a magazine, PD Pyeon participated in the KBS Seoul Festa 2022 opening performance held in August and met Chan Wu, who was in charge of emceeing at the time. Chan Wu greeted Pyeon PD first with a bright appearance, even while he was in the middle of his pack schedules. Pyeon PD said, If anyone is busy and tired, it is more of a luxury to say hello first, let alone be kind. Pyeon PD then recalled the time when she informed Chan Wu that the existing live broadcast had been replaced with a recorded broadcast, saying, The thing that surprised me even more was during the script reading. In response Chan Wu said, Is it real? My mom said she would watch the live broadcast because she missed me, but I should tell her again. The PD said, I was impressed. He must have been to this kind of K-pop event more than 100 times, and even though it seemed boring enough, he was excited. At the same time, the PD praised Chan Wu's sincere attitude, saying that even in the midst of the actual recording when it was raining and chaotic, he concentrated and constantly asked questions politely. In addition, the PD said that he was greatly impressed by Chan Wu's behavior in the latter half of the recording. Concerned that Chan Wu's hair and makeup would be ruined when it rained too much, the editorial producer suggested, You use an umbrella for now, and then when I give you a cue sign, why don't you throw the umbrella on the floor? Then Chan Wu said, It's okay, I'll just try, and finished the closing with a smile, and said to the PD, You've worked hard. The PD said, Even Chan Wu, who is constantly busy, lives so diligently and politely with excitement. What am I supposed to do? I think I should accept reality and live with the best positivity I can. Chan Yu undoubtedly one of the most handsome celebrities inside and out, but who would believe that he once struggled with self-confidence? During a past broadcast of the popular Korean variety show Immortal Songs singing the legend on December 17, 2016, Chan Wu opened up about his childhood and his struggles with self-image. On the show Astro had impressed audiences with their musical talent and stage presence as they covered a Nas Don't Turn Back. Chan Wu had also showcased his skills as he played the piano, leaving the audience in awe. However, amidst all the talent and charisma, Chan Wu had shared a personal story that touched many fans. He revealed that during his school days, he was quite different from the image he portrays now. He said, I liked exercising, so I was tan and chubby. I was popular. This confession had surprised many fans who were used to seeing Chan Wu as a confident and attractive young man. However, his honesty and vulnerability had only made him more endearing to his fans. Chan Wu's journey to self-acceptance and self-love is one that many people can relate to. As a public figure, he has used his platform to inspire others to embrace their unique qualities and not be ashamed of who they are. Despite the challenges he faced during his childhood, Chan Wu has emerged as a successful artist and a role model to many. He continues to captivate audiences with his talent and charm, while also using his influence to spread positivity and self-confidence. So, what are your thoughts on Chan Yu's potential leading role in Doc Gong Zhang? Share your excitement, expectations, and speculations in the comments below. Stay tuned for more thrilling updates on this exciting project. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Your support means the world to me. I'll be back soon with more exciting news and updates. Until then, take care and see you next time.